السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Dear grade 5 students Hello again I am Ahmed Al-Farahati and I wish you all the best of everything Today inshallah we will study unit 3 food and health Lesson 3 Please open your class book to page 16 This page What are the aims of this lesson? Let's check. Unit 2 Food and Health Lesson 3 Class book page 16 Activities 1, 2 and 3 Skills book page 14 Activities 1 and 2 Grammar The aims In this lesson students will Discuss healthy and unhealthy foods Categorize countable and uncountable food nouns Listen to and read dialogues about healthy and unhealthy foods Let's go to page 16 of your class book Grammar Activity 1 Look and think Are these foods Healthy or unhealthy? Draw a happy face for healthy food and a sad face for unhealthy food into the circles. You are asked to look at these foods and try to decide if they are healthy or unhealthy. If the food is healthy, draw a happy face in the circle. If it is unhealthy, Drew a sad face in the circle. Ice cream, fish, carrots, chicken, brown bread, yogurt, cake or cupcake, tomato, burger, lettuce. Take your time to decide if the foods are healthy or unhealthy. Drew a happy face for healthy food and a sad face for unhealthy food then come back to check your answers hello again i'll show you the answers in order to check yours these are the answers let me ask you what are the healthy foods can you name them yes fish carrots chicken brown bread, yogurt, tomato, and lettuce. What are the unhealthy foods? Can you name them? Yes, ice cream, cake, and burger. Thank you, let's go to activity two. Listen and read. Listen to the dialogues one to four. Match them to the pictures A to D. Let's read the dialogues first. Are apples good for you? Yes, they are. Is fish good for you? Yes, it is. Are cakes good for you? No, they aren't. Is lots of chocolate good for you? No, it isn't. Now, let's listen to the dialogues. You are asked to match them to these pictures. Then come back to check your answers. One. Are cakes good for you? No, they aren't. Two. Is fish good for you? Yes, it is. Three. Are apples good for you? Yes, they are. Four. Is lots of chocolate good for you? No, it isn't. Now, I'll match the dialogues to the pictures. A is number three. B is number two. C is number one. And D is number four. 
Now we will listen again to these dialogues in order to check our answers. One. Are cakes good for you? No, they aren't. Two. Is fish good for you? Yes, it is. Three. Are apples good for you? Yes, they are. Four. Is lots of chocolate good for you? No, it isn't. Thank you. Now let's go to activity three. Think. Read the dialogues in pairs and answer the question. How are A and C different to B and D? That means how are dialogues A and C different to dialogues B and D? Let's look here. Apples, cakes, and here we have fish and chocolate. That means dialogues A and C contain countable food nouns, apples, cakes, and their questions and answers use are. If you look here, are apples, are cakes, and the answers, yes, they are, no, they aren't. And the dialogues B and D contain uncountable food nouns, fish, chocolate. And their questions and answers use is. Is fish good for you? Yes, it is. Is lots of chocolate good for you? No, it isn't. Look here. Even if we use lots of with uncountable noun, we use is, not are. Are lots of chocolate is not okay. Is not correct. Is lots of chocolate. Okay? And I think it is better to say, is it chocolate good for you? Let's go to page 14 of your skills book. Grammar. Let's look at grammar. Countable and uncountable nouns. Nouns we can count are called countable nouns. You understand that? For example, I like bananas. Are bananas good for you? Yes, they are. So the word banana is a countable noun. Nouns we cannot count are called uncountable nouns. For example, I like water. Is water good for you? Yes, it is. So the word water is uncountable noun. You understand that? Words we can count are called countable nouns. And words we cannot count are called uncountable nouns. Let's look at activity one. Read and sort. Look at these food and drink words. Sort them into countable and uncountable. Write the plural of the countable words. You are asked here to sort these words into countable or uncountable nouns. If the words are countable, write the plural. Okay? Carrot, rice, banana, tea, tomato. And if we look at this word, it is pronounced in Britain, tomato. And in America, tomato. The British pronunciation is tomato, tomatoes. And the American pronunciation is tomato, tomatoes. Okay? Beef, water, cheese, cucumber, orange, apple, butter. Take your time to sort these words into countable or uncountable. Then come back to check your answers. Hello again. I'll write the answers in order to check yours. Yes. Carrot. Yes. Excellent. It's countable. Carrots. This is the plural. Rice. Yeah. Uncountable. Banana. Countable. Bananas. Tea, yes, it's uncountable. All liquids are uncountable. Tomato, yes, countable word. Tomatoes. Beef, uncountable. Water, uncountable. 
cheese uncountable cucumber yes countable q cumbers orange excellent oranges countable apple yes countable apples and butter is uncountable noun dear students let's look at the plural nouns here this one tomatoes we add es y if you look here we add only s carrot carrots bananas tomatoes we add es cucumbers we add s oranges we add s apples we add s y e s here we will study this later in this unit activity two think and complete look at these two sentences complete them using the words can and can't nouns we count are called countable nouns nouns we count are called uncountable nouns you can check let's look at grammar this part in order to complete these sentences take your time to complete them then come back to check your answers hello again let's complete the sentences nouns we can count are called countable nouns nouns we can't count are called uncountable nouns by this we've achieved the aims of this lesson thank you for following me goodbye